Foldables are one of the newest form factors for Android and users more broadly, but we're already seeing some amazing hardware coming from our partners. The combination of a large unfolding screen and mobile device-like portability offers unique experiences that developers are starting to embrace. For instance, Zoom is utilizing tabletop mode and Concepts has integrated stylus support. I recently spoke with Raj from Samsung, a pioneer in foldable technology. I started by asking why developers should embrace large screens like foldables and tablets. Now that you're in the fifth generation of the Galaxy Foldables, why have you continued to invest in the foldable space? Foldables are growing fast, and as we shared in the Unpack, some of the researchers have shown that in the next couple of years, we will hit 100 million shipments per year. Half of our users want to change to foldables. So that's really exciting for us that we have been creating this new category of devices for our Android users. That's so exciting. How would you encourage developers to get started designing for foldables? The app has to be responsive, uh, it needs to support multi-instance, multitasking, and uh, I would also encourage the developers to think about uh, supporting the S Pen so that the creativity is taken to the next level on these devices. Yeah, and I feel like we as Samsung and Android have collaborated so much to provide many tools for developers. Earlier this summer, Samsung hosted their Galaxy Unpacked event where they introduced their latest foldables like the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Z Flip 5. Raj, what were some of the coolest features packed into these new phones that developers should care about? For the Flip 5, people love our Flex Cam and the cover screen uh, is great for customization. For the Fold 5, uh, I think it's a powerhouse productivity device. It's like a PC in your pocket. Multitasking is, a, is definitely a key. We have seen uh, users equally using the cover screen and the unfolded screen. App continuity is a very important thing when you go from the outer screen to inner screen. So I encourage developers to make sure like their app is ready for the app continuity. Next, I spoke with Raj about the tools and resources that Google and Samsung offer for developers to get started. So whenever we release uh, uh, these form factor devices, we are immediately making the skins available for Android Studio so that the developers can download them and test their apps on these uh, skins. And also we have the remote test lab where developers can go and uh, test the applications on the real devices and hash out any quality issues they have. And these are great resources. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Raj. If you're an app developer and you'd like to get started, go to developer.android.com for all the resources.